I always wanted to extend the hover time of my drones. Extended flight time means longer range, more payload or longer time over your desired area. What are the ways to increase the flight time of a typical quad? You can increase the efficiency of your drone systems. More efficient motors, more efficient props, better ESC. BL Heli 32 and PID tuning can give you increased flight time. Another way to stay in the air longer is to get a bigger battery. The best option for endurance flight is lithium-ion cells. Their energy density is much higher than lithium polymer, but they cannot discharge as quickly. So often you may not even be able to use all your precious milliamp hours due to voltage sag. And the last way to increase the flight time is to make a lighter drone. A very light 6-inch drone weighs around 190 grams plus the weight of the battery. With a 4S Leon battery, it comes up to around 490 grams. I wanted to make it significantly lighter. And in order to achieve it, I decided to eliminate the frame and use a structural battery instead. I made the 21700 4S 1P Leon battery with cells connected in the middle with custom-made carbon fiber connectors. The frame came out rather rigid and I think it may take a little beating before it breaks. I managed to make the fully assembled drone just 458 grams. And I can probably make it another 10 grams lighter if I use a lighter ESC and a light GPS module. One of the downsides of such a design is the weight distribution away from the center of the quad. It increases the moment of inertia. And obviously with this design you can't quickly change your battery pack and fly again. I hope to achieve 75 minutes hover time without discharging my battery below 2.5 volts per cell. The first test flight I took was just a hover in a position hold mode. As you can see, the voltage sags by about 0.2 volts as I take off. For the first 20 minutes, the drone was consuming an average of 3.75 amps. But as the battery was discharging, the voltage was dropping, and late in the flight the average current went up to nearly 5 amps. It was a rather windy day, and the drone is banking a lot to stay in one spot. The total time in the air was 63 minutes. While this is my personal record, it is nowhere close to the 75 minutes I was shooting for. I landed with a voltage slightly below 10 volts, and as I disarmed, it quickly went up to over 11 volts. The next day I flew the drone in Acra mode. While I am preparing for the next flight, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It is very important for me. I'm not a very good drone pilot. Luckily, you can't really see how badly I'm flying due to the video fast forward. In the second flight, the battery was discharging at the same rate as in the first one. The total time in the air was just slightly longer, 65 minutes, another personal record for me. I still hope to achieve the 75 minutes flight time. I'm going to rebuild the drone using lighter components, hopefully saving around 10 grams. I also hope that PID and BL Heli 32 tuning can help me to squeeze more of these precious minutes out of the drone. I also plan to build a bigger 8S 1P drone. Do you think I will be able to keep it in the air for more than 80 minutes?